Hey old Valent Versatile here and take 53. <laughs> Not really, but I've been trying to get good video all day. Anyway, jumping right into it. Here's uh, some quick tips on how to make professional a little less frustrating. Um, getting perfect parries and how to consistently get your knife prompts. That's two things I want to talk about right here. So. Perfect parries, let's talk about it for a bit. On professional, you can only perfect parry, as most of you know. Perfect parries, good and bad. Bad thing, strict timing. Small parry window frame. Alright, and then... But when you perfect parry it, an enemy, you always guarantee a stagger. On most enemies anyway, there are some exceptions. So when you perfect parry an enemy... You will get a stagger and you get a melee prompt follow up, which is really good. So what we're gonna do is abuse that stagger mechanic with the perfect parry. We do what's called the parry backstab. So you're gonna want to. I'll, there will be two ganados right in front of me. I'm gonna try to demonstrate. If I get hit, please ignore it. Okay, pretend I didn't get hit. I'm trying to get the point across here all right so what you're gonna do is perfect parry and go to their side aim at their neck the knife prop will pop up and then you're gonna want to let the controls go into neutral and then backstab so what I mean is that once you hit the perfect parry run to their side you don't have to go all the way behind him to backstab them. You just need to run to the side, aim at their neck. That's where you're going to get the knife prompt to light up. The symbol to light up behind them. Go to neutral, meaning let go of all inputs. And then press the knife prompt button. The knife attack button. I set up my overlay on the right. And I'm going to put it into the motion now. So... Ah, oh, he missed, really? Right there, you see it? Parry, backstab. Parry, backstab. There. Okay, so we just did... See? Two back-to-back -back parry, backstabs. Very cons very consistently so you can abuse parry back steps a lot on your professional run and it's very consistent see my overlay on the right side you can slow down the YouTube video to get a good sense of that so I'm so glad I got on video and capture it and show you you can get consistent knife prompts very very consistently so what are the benefits to doing that benefits is that on the higher difficulty, the parasite spawn rate is ridiculous, so you want to minimize that. When you knife kill an enemy with the knife prompt, they are never going to spawn a parasite ever. Okay, so that's the benefit of that. Alright, we reloaded another save. I'm going to talk about the knife prompt. So you know how enemies that get killed or down or whatever you want to call it, they wiggle and they're going to turn into a parasite. So we're going to talk about how to get a consistent knife prompt on that. So same with the parry backstab. Aim at their neck. Aiming at their neck will allow you to uh, have the knife prompt light icon pop up on screen. You need to aim at his neck. And most of the time... What I see people doing is that they run up to the down corpse and they do a slash attack. Why is that happening? Is because you don't let your inputs go to neutral. If you run over all the way to his body, aim at his neck and press the knife prompt, you definitely get it more often than not. You need to aim at his neck and then you can get vacuumed into the animation. And let me get rid of this pitchfork guy real quick and then uh, kill the sickle guy and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, we're gonna kick this guy. He's gonna turn right, run up to him, let it go to neutral. 
and aim at his neck and press the knife from see on my overlay I ran back a little bit and then run ran back to him you saw that right so if you want to do that um, r like let's say yeah you kick him or you shot him and he died down there you need to first of all it, it takes a short time for him to turn into a parasite so you need to be within a reasonable distance aim at like run up to him aim at his neck let go and then press the knife prompt input knife attack otherwise if you don't let go of input you would just do this slash attack you see i'm holding shift moving forward let it go to neutral and then you'll get it and really that's that's all the quick tips i have for you for inconsistent knife prompts and all that you know janky mechanics not to say that the game won't rob you of a knife prompt but more often than not it lies in aiming at the neck because most of the animation starts with Leon knifing them at the neck so you need to aim at their neck that's the key thing and yeah that's it a very quick professional guide and I hope this helps you out and yeah if you like the video you know, like and share, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.